Good morning, I'm Sunitra Chaudhary, political editor of the Hindustan Times, bringing you all that you need to know about COVID-19 on Wednesday, the 22nd of July. First up, a look at the numbers. In just the last 24 hours, we've seen 38,582 new cases of the coronavirus across the country. The total number of deaths stands at 28,752. And that's our top story today. While Delhi at the moment has 125,000 cases, could the actual number of people in the capital that have been exposed to the virus be 4.53 million? Well, that's an extrapolation of the data that has emerged from the Zero Survey that was conducted in the end of June. The Zero Survey results fully have been announced on Tuesday, and it says that 23, almost 23, 22.8% of people were exposed to the coronavirus in the capital. Now, since it was done end of June, it means that the numbers by now of the number of people that are exposed to the virus are much more and could have increased till then. For herd immunity, however, you need 40 to 65 percent of people that have been exposed to the virus, which means there are still a majority number of people here in the NCR region who are still vulnerable to the coronavirus and that's why we all have to be careful the good news is that because this survey shows that one in four people in the capital have been exposed it's a test that's done a blood test that's done which shows antibodies so because 23 percent that means one in four persons have been exposed that means that a large majority of the people who were exposed showed very mild symptoms or no symptoms at all that's the good news now let's just compare this data to what similar surveys zero surveys antibody surveys that have been done across the world our results are comparable to that of new york another hot spot that we've seen in america while delhi showed almost 23 percent have been exposed New York's results showed 19.3% of the people were exposed, while London showed 17.5%. Madrid showed 11.3% of the people were exposed. However, what may not be comparable and may vary is the specific time in the outbreak that the Zero Survey was done. In Delhi, of course, it's an ongoing outbreak in the middle of which this survey was done in all districts of Delhi and covered about 22,000 people. So that's very, very significant, these results of the Zero Survey done in Delhi. Well, speaking of Delhi and the impact of the coronavirus, these are all things that are being kept into consideration as the government and the Speaker of Lok Sabha, the Chairman of Rajya Sabha, are contemplating exactly how to hold Parliament next month. They're expecting to hold the session anytime post Independence Day, post August 15th. And what is on their minds is how do you socially distance 770 members plus security plus officials? How do you seat them in a way that is socially distanced and safe? Some of the things that are being considered is a plexiglass between all members. They're also considering doing it in shifts to have separate shifts for Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha and also to have live screens across the place so that others who may not be in the room, who are in Central Hall or in other parts of the building may be able to see. What is for certain is that before the pandemic, about 3,500 people were attending Parliament every day. That number is going to be significantly reduced because what officials are saying is that they are only going to allow those people who have to be inside Parliament in the building. So these are some of the things to keep in mind. You can read the entire story on HindustanTimes.com. One of the things that we've known is that valve masks or N95 masks may be good for pollution, but they are certainly not good during the pandemic. They say that those using it may be endangering others to the virus. That's because it has the valve for exhalation. And while that's okay to use during pollution outbreaks here in Delhi and especially polluted seasons, but it's not okay for that because if someone is infected and they're wearing that mask, they are letting out that virus and endangering all those who come near them. So they're asking everyone to wear cloth masks or other masks which don't have such valves. 
And finally, it's been decided that there will be no Amarnath Yatra this year. The Yatra which is undertaken by pilgrims, hundreds and thousands of them every year. Authorities said that it was just too dangerous during the pandemic. However, you don't need to be too disappointed. There will be live transmission of the morning and evening Yatri. So you can do that from the comfort of your home. Those are the news updates for now. Keep tracking them on HindustanTimes.com.